visited and listened to the words of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. O oh Lord God, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Do not say, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, oracles of the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying to me, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Choosing the passages of Jeremiah to reflect in today's recollection is no coincidence, since I shared the same with Jeremiah's appearance. When Father Ite asked me to give the reflection, I was afraid and hesitant. I questioned myself, am I choosing God or His work? However, I immediately was convinced that if I choose God, God would be with me. So why should I be afraid? Just do. Jeremiah hesitated to consider the God-given work because he saw the wicked people around him. Knowing his own weaknesses made Jeremiah even more certain that he was not the right man for the mission which God was asking him to do. We as ministers sent to serve the Lord often have feeling that we are not fully qualified for his work. The Apostle Paul, thinking about his ministry responsibilities, questions, who is qualified for this? St. Paul then answered his own question. Not that of ourselves, we are qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us. Rather, our qualification comes from God. We are called to build the church of God, as St. Peter claims that, like living stones, let ourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Because love covers a multitude of sins, only by allowing God to work in us, we are truly able to love and be forgiven of sins. Whoever reaches, let it be done, let it be with the words of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength that God supplies, so that in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. When God calls us, He is never wrong. Therefore, to hesitate or refuse our work when we are called to cooperate is an, an act of lack of faith and charity. Knowing our own limitations is so important but allowing these witnesses to hinder work, the work of God once is another matter title. Allowing witnesses to hinder the work of God could be seen as an attitude of arrogance rather than an expression of humility. It is an attitude that lacks trust in God's providence. 
A few weeks ago, we heard the gospel about the parable of the fig tree. Have we ever supposed that if the fig tree could speak, it might complain to Jesus? If, it's, if it is not a season to bear fruit, why did you come to seek fruit and curse me? If we consider this situation in the human mind, the complaint is unfair for the tree. However, Jesus uses the image of the fig tree to illustrate that if we are persons who have been cared for by God to mature like a dark fig tree, we must always live to please the Lord, bear fruit and glorify Him. The Apostle Paul advises, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Thus, we don't have to wait until the proper season to serve or bear the fruit. The Lord judges us based on where we live right now. Therefore, if we must look at the past, let us give thanks to God and repent. However, we must view the present to serve with zeal and responsibility and look to the future with the hope that we surely will be saved because we have fulfilled our duty to serve the Lord and bear the food for Him. We, as ministers, are called by God to the perfection of holiness like the perfect father, according to his personal duty. The saints are not made holy by prophesying or performing miracles. They just fulfill their duty at all moments. To live the present is not to live passively, but to live in full trust and love. We should serve the Lord in spirit as the opportunity which we have is the first, the only, and the last. And every act should be done with love.